Hello everyone, welcome. Uh, I'm Mike and we are continuing on for today on our copper dragon that we started uh, in a previous video. In the previous video we used an airbrush to show you how to use the turbo door paints to make uh, the copper dragon uh, copper. We used the turbo door paints for the body and for the wings we used reaper colors. So as a review, we started with two sets as our base color for the copper and then we built it up to the cartridge family. And for the wings, we used harvest brown and orange brown. In this episode, I'm going to, I'm going to show you all of the detail. As you can see, we have a lot, we have, we, we have a lot to get done on him. So claws, his teeth, his eyes, and his face. I have expanded ever so slightly. Not, I was trying not to overdo it with colors, the palette that we had. So before we had the black, a white, and then four other colors to get to get him to where he is now. Now for this I'm going to be adding Uchati bone, an oxide, an arco, and potentially, I'm not entirely sure on this yet, I have baby poop as a wash if I need it and black gray from model color in case I need to add a little bit of change to some of the, some of the colors. All right, so his eye, I think I'm going to do, I'm going to use that orange brown to start and see how that looks, and we'll build out from there. Uh, for this step, I'm going to be using a Reaper Zero. Uh, this is basically any standard brush that you can find that's round and comes to a point on the end. While working on this part, if you make any mistakes, just remember you can very easily go back very quickly and clean it up with a little bit of water and your brush. Uh, this will take off any of the extra marks you may make on the model while doing it. Now we start to stare at you. Now we're going to add add a couple of slashes into his eyes so it looks like he's actually looking at, what, at looking at you. And for that, we'll just use the black color and then swap to a finer brush. Uh, in this case, it is a 40-0 from Reaper. And just ever so gently Now that the eyes are done, next we'll be moving on to the claws. Uh, the claws and teeth, to do this, we'll be using the Harvest Brown color uh, and our Reaper Zero brush. Alright, so next will be his teeth. Again, back to my Reaper Zero. Just very, very gently, make sure you don't have too much paint on your brush. This color out, we're also going to do the claws. Again, this is the harvest brown color that we're using for the for the teeth and claws. Uh, we're just very gently going over that to bring out the give it a nice base color for our shopty bone, which will be our next layer. 
uh, again while doing this if you take your time uh, you won't have any problems but if you do accidentally get some paint where you don't want it it's fine uh, just go back and clean it up with other color or just quick very quickly rinse it off with some with your brush and uh, uh, some water At this point, if you need to pause to catch up, uh, feel free to do so, and then resume the video as soon as you get all the, uh, the teeth and claws done. Don't forget the bones on the wings. Now that we have all the the bones and the bone base colored, we're going to go to a, use an older Reaper Zero brush. Uh, in, in my case, you can use any older brush. Uh, we're going to do some dry brushing using the Abshapti bone. Uh, this will cover all of the teeth and the claws. While doing this, just make sure to leave a little bit of the harvest brown or the harvest brown color right near the edges of the model uh, to help show that it's you know, it's it's old growth versus new growth. Again, don't forget the wings, and when you when you're ready, go ahead and pause and resume when you're get caught up. so far are kind of flat, whereas the, the metallic is very, very reflective. So I'm going to add a gloss to the eyes and his claws to help bring that color out a little bit, to help, you know, add a little bit more of the, the supernatural feel to the guy. Again, we're just putting, we're putting the art code on here, which is from Games Workshop. Uh, because it has a gloss finish to it. Uh, this is Art Coat. You can use any paint on gloss varnish to help bring this color back out. This is going to take two to three coats to actually get the nice vibrant reflex out of it. Once you have the first layer down, let the rest of it dry as you're going through the rest of the pieces to the, uh, before you add your next layer. I'm going to use a technical from Games Workshop. Next, we're going to be using a technical from Games Workshop. It's the Nilka Oxide. Uh, we're going to use this to add in some verdigris onto the dragon, either make it look like he's getting ready to breathe his coppery breath, or to make it look like he has some water spots that have been added onto his, uh, his carapace.
while doing this, be very careful not to completely over oxide because this can very easily overpower the model and just detract from everything else that you've done. Well, you can add more or less of the verdigris depending on your personal needs. Once you have all the verdigris on there, or as much as you'd like, set the model down, take a step back, and take a look at what you've done so far. Uh, add more if you'd like, uh, or just put another hard coat on the claws and eyes if you want to bring out more of a reflex. So now I'm going to go to the base. The base I'm going to do a little bit different than I normally would. Uh, I'm going to start with my lighter color, and then go down to my darker color. Uh, and this will be dry brushing. Uh, so I'm going to start with the orange brown that I did for the wings with a regular brush just because of where where it is on the model. go back with a darker color and dry brush in most of the spots and then I'll bring back uh, in a few few places that orange brown really bright. Now when applying this orange brown just make sure that you leave a little bit of the the black base underneath so you can see some of the the recesses a little bit better as you go on. Uh, again once you reach this point and you're you're trying to get caught up you feel free to pause the video and resume when you're ready. When doing this last layer, just make sure you hit just the edges just a little bit, kind of bring out that uh, that color on the rocks right around the edges where somebody would have stepped or something might have fallen down. Add a little bit of a, a brighter color to the, to the stone. Alrighty guys, there you have it. Uh, let's go and get it. See if I can get a really good shot of this guy. So this finishes up the second part of this video. Hope you enjoyed and learned a couple of things. Please be sure to give us a like. Let us know if you want to see something a little bit different. Drop us a couple of pictures of things that you've done. Check out our Discord. Have a good day. All right, guys. Thank you for joining us. Uh, follow us on Facebook. Join our Discord. Follow us on, on Twitch. Uh, let us know what you think. And let us know what else you'd like to see us do. Thanks for joining us. Have a good day.